When Pearl Harbor was bombed, I had just started first grade. We lived down the street from Bloxon's pig farm. Before the war, they had the best blueberry patch around. The farm became the South Weymouth Naval Air Station. No trespassing signs were everywhere. They had a fence with gates, but one of the gates had a hole in it. We used to sneak in and pick blueberries. One day, the MPs caught us. They confiscated our berries, took us home in a Jeep, and told our parents that we weren't ever supposed to be on the base. We didn't get in too much trouble. The worst thing was, they kept the blueberries. <laughs> we had heard numerous times that the Nazi submarines would quietly come in close and let spies off. We never saw anyone come ashore, but we did see a lot of periscopes. I rolled bandages, more bandages, and even more bandages. I sent care packages to the troops overseas and took care of my family. Those of us who stayed home did all we could to help our country and keep our spirits up. I was 15 years old and sitting in church when war was declared on September 3rd, 1939. The air raid sirens went off almost immediately. We were afraid. We knew Luftwaffe was coming for the John Brown shipyards. My pride and my older brother's friends went off on the train to be soldiers. Pretty soon, all of our soldiers went to France. No one believed the Maginot Line would fall. We were shocked when it did. As France crumbled under the German assault, British and Allied troops gathered for a last stand on the beaches of Dunkirk. Munich is only 18 miles west of Boston and not too far from Boston Harbor. German submarines were active along the east coast and they sometimes put spies ashore. They sank ships too. We didn't want ambient light silhouetting ships coming in and out of the harbor. So our towns were heavily blacked out at night. Every window was covered with shades or grapes to keep even a tiny speck of light from escaping. My dad had to patrol the neighborhood to make sure no light showed. I don't remember any street lights being on, but I do remember automobile headlights were painted black to let only a very small amount of light show through. To this day, I take great joy in seeing lighted bridges and lighted cities. At the time of the war, there was a lot of anti-Semitism all over the world. My children can't believe this now. Jewish people could not go into a lot of hotels right here in the United States. There were quotas on college admissions and certain professions. Only so many Jewish students allowed. There were areas where Jews couldn't live and where we couldn't join country clubs. Now, I'm proud to say that I belong to a synagogue. We don't have to hide our faith anymore.